Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel like this video and watch this video until the end because if you don't you will be automatically disqualified from the giveaway we will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily somewhere in the video and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section good luck now let's proceed with the latest direct in our news and until today please take these information with a grain of salt and please make sure to do your own due diligence from Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK comment. Wealth Manager sent out memo saying the dinar is a scam. From Mark Z, well if it is a scam, Trump invested in it, Warren Buffett invested in it, the US Treasury has invested in it. I believe even George Soros has invested in it and almost every central bank around the world has invested in it. So if it is a scam, well, all the smartest people in the world fell for it. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, Iraq has some of the largest deposits of phosphates and sulfur, massive world-class gold supply, rare earths, liquid natural gas, and they have tourism. They all generate income, a development road project. You're going to find taxes and tariffs at the borders. There's going to be a lot of revenue, a lot. Back in Saddam Hussein era, the dinar was around $3.22. It may have been considered a little bit overpriced. Should have been more about $2.80. It's at $13.10 right now. There's a big difference. Now you have to add all those things I just mentioned. The valuation of the country. That's what they have to do. Sudani wasn't lying when he said the dinar is going to be stronger than the dollar. From Intel Guru Frank 26 Iraq Boots on the Ground Report. From Firefly, Mr. Sammy said the CBI wants the entire deletion of the 3-0 project to go smooth and have very little impact on the citizens. That's why the whole thing is going digital. This way the CBI can switch out currencies so easily. From Frank, brilliant Sudani, brilliant Alak, brilliant Dr. Shabibi wherever you may be, rest in peace. From Firefly, it's going to be automated and the citizens won't even feel it when they switch over to the new exchange rate. They won't even feel it as the words from sale. Sale also say the solution coming will lower the dollar exchange rate. From Newshound Guru Claire article, Al Sudani to Al Sisi, Iraq is capable of being a meeting place for the countries of the region. From Newshound, Intel Guru Walking Stick, Iraqi Bank Friend a key update. Question, you're asking us why we are not talking to you about these lower note commercials. Can you tell us more about them? From a key, yes, they are coming out. This is the media campaign we told you about. It's getting faster and faster and louder and louder. The purpose is to show the citizens the new lower notes and more information. These commercials are coming out at any time now. Nothing is in the way to block this next step. It is a massive media campaign. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, there's no inflation, so there's not going to be a lop. They're going to add value to their currency. Why? Because they have valuation. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, a lot of people calling for it to start within 24 hours. There is a whole lot of chatter with groups who are expecting money movement at any moment or over the weekend. The rumors out of the groups are everybody will be working this weekend. Group leaders are all charged up and ready. We hear Al Alak is to go from New York to DC today. We are hopeful it means something. Comment, slowly, slowly, suddenly. From Mark Z, I think we are finally at the suddenly part. From Newshound Guru Caperoni, article, Government Advisor explains the possibility of using the dinar instead of the dollar in oil sales. Interesting quote from Sally in that article. 
quote, the strength and stability of the Iraqi dinar will remain linked to the factors of real growth and diversity in the national economy. Before ending with few more last updates, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is consequences. Comment below which update you like, or let us know what you think or simply share any additional info you have. You can be the lucky winner if you like, subscribe, and watch the main content of this video. This will be for this coming Sunday's giveaway, and the winner will be announced in one of the Sunday's videos so you do not want to miss it. From NewsHound, Intel Guru FNULNU, contract rates all happened many years ago when private buyers contracted to buy dinar at a specified rate, per contract. It was not an exchange, it was a private sale. Those all closed many years ago, and there are no more contracted rates, period. I hope this clears the air. From Intel Guru Frank 26 Iraq Boots on the Ground report, from Firefly, they tell us no matter what the dinar is stable, and it is strong. From Frank, a program rate is not stable or strong. It's completely worthless. It's not strong. It's not stable. What are they telling the citizens? From Firefly, new changes once they are implemented and take hold it will be a backbone of security for our economy and our banking system. From Frank, that's why a lack is in New York right now. Security and stability being established for the monetary reform. What are they trying to tell you? That you have a new exchange rate and lower notes coming to you. None of this is going to work at a program rate. It can only work with the new exchange rate to add purchasing power. And finally, the last update is from NewsHound Guru Militiaman. There's consequences if you don't play by the rules. Nothing wrong with playing by the rules. I suggest you do that. If you make a whole bunch of money and you have taxes, pay them. I'm looking forward to paying my taxes catching up. I don't know how many of you folks got hit by 2008. I'm telling you, I know I did. Be cautious. Get professional advice. Get sound advice. That's all for the latest updates on the Iraq dinar. What are your thoughts of all the articles or news coming from Iraq and opinions from these intel providers? Moreover, we posted a shocking video the other day. In this video, we've discussed an exciting new initiative. Iraq's development road project and its potential impact on the country's economy and the Iraqi dinar. High-level officials from Iraq, Qatar, and the UAE are set to meet in Turkey to discuss this crucial investment. We broke down what this means for Iraq and explained why it could be a pivotal moment for the revaluation or reinstatement of the dinar. Please go ahead and check it out by clicking on the link on the top right of this video, as you don't want to miss this. Lastly, we will continue to post videos about the recent events and articles supporting the changes taking place in Iraq so you don't want to miss them. Also, don't forget, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video. Bye.